good morning. It's a good day. Uh, we're on our way to church. We should be on time this week. I have a thing about being late for everything. <laughs> the way I look at it is I was 11 days late being born, so it's kind of just always been a habit. Um, yeah, we really like this church. Uh, how long have we been going here? off and on there for a little while just because you know I, I was working and stuff and we weren't able to go but um yeah for the last little while it's been pretty consistent and we really enjoy it and uh and we're just uh I think I said in the last one that we've been getting more and more involved in it with uh you know a small group and everything and um I've talked with them about playing at the church. And it's been a good while since I've played guitar anywhere, aside from home. So it'd be nice to get back into that. So yeah, just playing today is just after church, just go home, lunch, and get more stuff done around the house. Now, that's another reason why I'm glad we have weekends together now. So get stuff done rather than just trying to find time during the week. Plus, I get to watch football now. It's not football season, but you can tell I'm already excited about it. Oh, The Walking Dead. See, uh, season finale tonight. Yeah, we're usually a small group whenever the show airs so we don't watch it until Monday. So, uh, there's one guy at my work who, uh, who watches it, and, you know, he always waits until Tuesday to talk to me because, you know, we don't get to watch it until you know, Monday evening. So, he's really good about not spoiling anything, but there's been times when, you know, I've gotten online, like, on a Sunday evening without thinking, and someone's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe so-and-so died. And there was one time when uh, something happened to a character and someone said, oh, what happened to him? And I, I couldn't stop reading. They're like, oh, this happened. And then because of that, this happened. And uh, that's one of those things that really drives me crazy. Yeah, just uh, always try to remember to stay off you know, social networks. So I don't see any spoilers if I am not able to watch the episode. <laughs> you sound like Bob Barker. <laughs> what? Spay and neuter your pets and always stay off social media before you've seen the latest episode. No. Yeah. Hey, we just got out of church. It was awesome. Miles. Continue on July 24 East. Shut up, Siri. Uh. Yeah, service is really cool. Um, we just like our church because there's one part during the service where they're like, um, just, you know, it's not your shake your neighbor's hand thing. It's, you know, uh, do you know what they say? I have the paper, but it's in my back pocket. God has intentionally made his families, uh, families greet, families share, families love, so go do those things. <laughs> I forget the last part, but yeah, we just, just go hang out for a few minutes. Um, I just think that's awesome because yeah, church is so laid back and I don't know. I have a hard time when churches have a huge set of rules. I don't know. But um, yeah, we we're going to go meet up with a couple friends from church at uh, some barbecue place uh, we've never I've never been there so chances are you've never been there um yeah Malachi and Sari we're gonna go meet up with them so should be fun hey it's Nashville we're home <laughs> continue on July 24 East 
whenever we come from come home from Ohio, I just you know you can see road signs and everything, and you know, it doesn't really count. Um, four point four miles for us. Oh, gosh. You done? Why are we going to this barbecue place? That sign said the Jacks is the best in town. <laughs> I don't know. We we need to bring that up to him. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, actually, the seeing Nashville, you know, kind of lets us know we made it home. Okay, we're trying to figure out if that is just a marketing thing, or do people really not like him? He is a radio DJ. Um, I mean, the show's all right. I much rather listen to Free Beer and Hot Wings, but I mean, during breaks from them, I switch over to the Bobby Bone Show and just for something to listen to. But there are multiple signs around Nashville that they all say, go away, Bobby Bones. And I wonder if that's just, uh, someone really doesn't like them. Yeah, I just got text. Okay. Um, not sure if it's just people don't like him or it's some marketing thing where people, huh, let's see what's so bad about the Bobby Bones show. And they turn it on. Is that what we're going? No. Oh, gotta change things up. See ya. Alright, so we finally found the place. Got a little bit lost, but it's okay. But, um, they're super busy. Or, looks like they are. But, ew. There's a bunch of cars here, so we had to park in the back and we drove around. And in here, they have a big stack of wood. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> And that it smells so good. It's reminding of reminding us of the river back home. So we're very excited about this. Never been here before, so hopefully it's <laughs> it's similar. So we'll let you know. Hey, we just uh, what was it called? Edley's or something? Edley's, yeah. Edley's barbecue in Nashville. It was awesome. Uh, I got pulled chicken. Green beans as our side, and big old basket of fries. So good. Uh, even better than that was the company. Um, and we haven't really uh, spent too much time with uh, Malachi and Sari, so it was really nice to hang out with them. So, I don't know, it was just, I mean, <laughs> we were there for like, what, two hours? So it was, it was really cool. Uh, we're gonna go home and find something to do. And sleep. <laughs> pick up the house slightly. I'll sleep. He'll pick up the house. Mean woman. Um, yeah, we just we have a few hours until we got to go to uh, uh, our, our small group. So we're hanging out. Get some stuff done around the house, work on some videos. See what we can do. It's really nice out. 63 out right now and sunshine. It feels a lot better than that, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't really let you feel how nice it is out here, but it is sunny out. So I don't know. I'm tired. I want to take a nap too, so. Hey, it's the end of the day. I'm heading home. Um, it's a short day. Oh, I went in at noon, leaving at 4 30. I'm gonna keep working on Anyway, heading home. Um, there's this thing where if you um, pull down the number of the floor that you want to go to and um, pull the door close button. It's supposed to take you straight to the floor without stopping. Um, 
I'm not sure that it is, it's just one of those things that I've read online, but it's always worked since I've been doing it. I've been doing it for, I don't know, it's a year. So, like, when we go to big hospitals and stuff for doctor's appointments and stuff, it's always worked. So, I'm going to keep doing it until it doesn't work anymore. Listen, this guy take off. Alright, so I've always had luck with uh, winning prizes on radio shows. Uh, I remember growing up, they always had a uh, birthday um, announcements and stuff. Um, they say, this person's eight, this person's so whatever. And here's our anniversaries, and they always gave a cake out uh, every day. And I feel like I won quite a few times, and I think they gave out balloons to it. So whenever mom would come pick me up or uh, from school, you know, I had balloons and had a cake <laughs> to eat that night. Um, one movie passes, concert tickets. Uh, there were times when I got in the car, turned on the radio, they said, All right, we're taking the ninth caller, and then they started playing a song. I don't even know what they're giving away. And I would still try to win it, and every now and then I would win. But I haven't had too much luck down here since we moved to Nashville. This guy's pro. So, here in a second, they're gonna give, give out some movie tickets, so I've got the phone ready for the buzz. Hey, look, this guy's really wanting to pass. Oh, look at that guy. Pass it in the turn lane. Now he's going the wrong way. Idiot. It's ringing. Thank you. There's a guy who passed everybody illegally. He didn't even get anywhere. Hey, there's that really pissed off dude. Nice driving roll. Bad. I wonder what kind of truck that is. I don't know if it's a food truck or ice cream truck or what, but they got pulled over. Hey, it's cooking with Chris time. Um, where do we find out about this meal? Your mom. My mom. Um, found it somewhere, I'm guessing, Pinterest. Um, but pretty much what you do is... Uh, Chop up onion, chop up uh, smoked sausage, chop up pepper, and some potatoes. Put it on there, I already got half the onion cut. We're making two, uh, just so we have food for tomorrow as well. I'm trying to be smart. Um, it's really good. Uh, it's one of those things, it's like better the second day. You agree? Oh yeah, <laughs> it kind of lets the like the onions and the peppers, which I typically don't even like, but it kind of lets those kind of like soak in and gives it all flavor. It's really good. It looks a little funky on day two, but it tastes really good. <laughs> funky, she says. And Katie's doing uh, thank you notes for our shower that we had not too long ago. It was a very good shower. I didn't go to it, but I'm thankful for everything that. <laughs> I saw that we got. Um, while the girls were doing the shower, the guys went to eat Chinese food and to go bowling. And once again, Katie's dad dominated. He has a knack for that. Um, it's kind of tough to chop with one hand, so I'll be back. Right, I want to show how dog-like our cat is. Watch. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's cool. All right, the peppers are on there. Keep in mind, I still have to mix all this stuff up, so 
We are getting the start on the potatoes and then you can do the sausage and oil after that. So Okay, so we got the onions, we got the peppers, we got the taters, and we have the sausage. So after that, we um, season it however you want. We're going pepper. A little bit of pepper. And I like garlic powder. A little bit of there. A little bit of salt. And our peppermint salt shaker from Christmas. Where'd you get those anyway? Kroger. When we got all those Christmas dishes and stuff. Nice. Alright, I had the oven preheated for 450. I'm gonna say 658 because that's the time. How long should I put it in for? Uh, about, I think, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Plenty of time. 40 and then we'll watch after that. Um, 40? Yeah. But remember, set the timer and not the cook time, because if we need it longer, <laughs> that's something I always forget, if we need it longer than 40 minutes, we can just set the timer and just redo the timer. Otherwise, you have to reset the temperature and it has to heat up again. Re-preheat. Re-preheat. <laughs> All right, I'll show you the finished product. We're halfway through. Everything seems to be coming along nicely. Scout saying hi. Hey, buddy. Come here. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. I want to show you this about our stove. Every time it runs out, it sings. I like it. Oh yeah. Time to eat and watch Walking Dead. What's a verdict, Mama? Very, very good. I'm already planning a second bowl. <laughs> Walking Dead.